In the previous lecture, we created a new page, the contacts page. This is the one that is going to be displayed the very first time the application is opened. So every time the application is opened, this is the one that is going to be displayed. That means that from this page, we're going to need uh, an add button or a new button or a new contact button that eventually navigates us to the main page. So that is what we're going to add in this lecture. Now, before doing anything, let me go ahead and build my contacts project. So the SAML file is identified and eventually I can see this designer working. There we go. Now, what I want to do in here is not simply add a button the way we have done it earlier in the other page. What I want to do is make use of a toolbar. You may notice in many applications on both Android and iOS, there's a bar at the top or maybe sometimes at the bottom of the page. And in this bar is where we find some of the buttons that are going to be executing some functionality. There is rarely an add button in the main section of the page. It is on those bars. So let's go ahead and add one of these bars with one of those buttons. These bars and those buttons are actually defined outside of the content of the content page. So the content is the one that we have been working with. Now, if I navigate to main page, I don't see the content page dot content as I said here in the page that was created. You may not even see this on some templates, maybe on Windows, maybe on some other versions of Visual Studio. This is not created. But actually, this is not necessary because the content is the default property to be set from the content page, which means that this that we have right here is being automatically, without us having to specify it, defined as the content of the content page, which means that having this is the same thing as having content page content right here as having this. And let me just change the indentation in here. So this is going to have the exact same result. But we don't need to do this. Our definition could be simplified by simply not including the definition of the content. And now my indentation is all wrong in here. There we go. So we don't need the definition of the content in here. What we do need in this case is the definition of the toolbar items. So the toolbar items is a different property similar to the content of the content page. It is in here where we are going to be defining toolbar items. Now, as you can see, these are not particularly well displayed in the designer. We don't see anything added to the designer because this is outside of the content. For us to see this, we would have to run the application. We will learn how to test it in the next section. For now, let's just focus on just adding some text in here. And the text is going to be, let's say, new. Now, you could also add some icons in here. You would have to have, of course, the icon on the project. We're not going to be focusing on that for now. We are just also going to be creating a clicked event handler like this, just as we did with the button that we have on the main page. Now let me just remove this line. So my event handler is completely empty and change its name. Let's say that this is going to be the new contact toolbar item clicked event handler, which now helps me understand very well what this method is about. So this is how you create a toolbar item. Like I mentioned, it's not something that we can see on either Android or iOS yet, but in the next section, we are going to take a look at how it works. 
what we are going to be able to do now is navigate from this method to the other page. Because precisely when you click this new contact toolbar item, you want to be navigated over to the main page, which should actually be called new contact page, but whatever. So we add new contacts. That is exactly what we're going to do in the next lecture. Now that we have this new button, we can, from the main page, to which we will eventually navigate, add new contacts. So in the next lecture, the navigation and the UI for our application is going to be pretty much ready. We already have this new content page that is going to be displaying that new button. And of course, we have the main page that is going to be helping us or the users add new contacts. In the next lecture, we're simply going to complete the navigation so we can later focus on adding the functionality.